Hi, hello everyone. Today we will be going to write a script and record it and playback and we will be creating uh, mass users using GUI scripting. We have many ways to create mass users or do mass editings like LSMW and also we have uh, option of ECAD scripting. Uh, we have many options. As of now, I'll be showing you how to create GUI scripts. Okay. For creating GUI script, basically we just need, uh, we just have to record the script in SAP and then uh, we have to do some addition, do some, uh, write some code snippets to connect it to the Excel and then we have to uh, play back the script. Okay. So now I'll be starting with that. Uh, I'll just open my SAP screen and uh, you can see here, right? This is my ECC system and I'll be clicking on more. Basically, you'll have a monitor option. This In this theme, you'll have more. Uh, you'll have in older versions, you'll have something called a monitor option. You can click on that. Uh, as of now, you have to go for GUI settings and you can see here the script recording and playback is grayed out. Why? Because the parameters has not been set. Okay. For that, I'll be going for T code called RZ11. So once I go for RZ11, I'll go for scripting and I'll click on display. And you can see these are the main things which are uh, used for scripting purposes. So I'll just open uh, the one which is called user scripting. Okay, this is open. You can see the current value is false. So I'll be giving changing that value to true. Why? Because that if I changed it to true, then uh, the scripting will be enabled. Switch on all servers and see this changes will be only effective until you do the refresh. After refresh, all these changes will go back again to false only. Again, you have to change that. If you want it to be permanent, use RZ10. Okay, and then now um, I'll just go with this and scripting. There is another one parameter which needs to be set as true. I'll click on this play. Uh, so this disable recording, I'm just checking. This should be false only. That's correct. And uh, display if I click huh, per user. So this should be true. So I'll just click on change and I'll be giving true and switch on all servers and save. So this is how you will be uh, changing the things. So now if you go and see it will still be grayed out only. Why? Because we have to just log off and log in. We will do that now. So I am logging in again. Um, so I have logged in. Now I will go and check whether it's enabled. See now it's enabled. Okay. So now I will be opening this one script recording. So this is big. That is the recording script option and that is the playback script. After recording, we'll play back that. So this is the files. The above you can see the record. That is the path where you have to save it. And uh, below we have playback. That is the path where we will save the script and playback okay so i'll just save it as mass users and then i'll just click on save okay once i click on save i'll just mention it as dot vbs and i have to click on record script but before that we have to create one excel sheet Okay, uh, where we'll be using that Excel sheet. I'll just open an Excel sheet. And now I'll be first column will be this is these are the mandatory things right to create a user, user ID, last name. Uh, if you want, you can give first name also. It's not mandatory, but I'll be giving the first name also. And then 
uh, email id so email id i'll be giving and password so these are the five things which are mandatory whenever user is being created so what i'll do i'll just give it as new user underscore b1 and i'll be creating as of now 10 users so i'll just add all the 10 users there and the last name i'll be creating uh, keeping the same i don't remember much names here just i'll be giving last name and for the first name i'll be giving uh, sap okay uh, so i'll just paste it everywhere and email id i'll be giving new user b1 at gmail.com okay i'll just give at gmail.com okay and now what i'll do for all the things it will be the same so just what you have to do go for next one and click control e so that everywhere it will be pasted new user b3 and this is for all the things gmail email id has been added password you can give the same password for all or different anything is fine i'll be giving a same password for everyone if you want you can give the same password or different password so now i'll just uh, make this bold because that is our i'll just give some borders here okay so my excel file is ready now mm, user id first name last name email id and password okay so i'll be going for my record and playback script and i'll be recording just for one user so i'll click on record script and then i'll execute slash n su01 okay and give the user id i'll just copy paste click on create and i'll again copy the last name and i'll paste it in last name and i'll copy first name i'll paste it in first name and then click enter okay now you have to go for email id and email id just scroll down and you can see email address there just click you enter that paste it there and then go for logon data here you have to give user type if these the one which i am creating is all of dialog users okay if you want to change if, if there are different you can change it as of now these are all dialog users so i'm not touching that so i'll just copy and paste the passwords also in the same way okay once this is done i'll just save it password is in exception table that's fine continue you won't get this dialog box whenever you are doing for me i am getting just click on save okay now the script is ready for one user so now i'll be stopping the script and then go for the file where that uh, script is saved okay it's here i'll just go in documents and you can see it here right mass user i'll open it using notepad so we can edit some of the code and add some of the code there so just go for more apps and then notepad okay once you give this see this is the this is your script So these two are the snippets where the first part which I am showing you now highlighting you now I will just enlarge it. So this is used for connecting the script, connecting the excel to the script. So it just connects, it is used for connecting the excel to the script ok. And this will be your 
which I am highlighting now is the path where the Excel exists. This is the path where that Excel will be should be present. And this you can see sheet one that is. So this whole code should be added in our script, mass user script. Okay. Till last. So this is used for creating an object and uh, uh, creating object and this line of code select star from this sheet one. This sheet one is the sheet name of your Excel. Okay, you can see the sheet name sheet. It's sheet one. So this is your sheet name. So I'll be giving sheet one only. If you, if it's different, you can give different there. So. Uh, why we have written last year means it should know the script should know this is the end of the script whenever it, it reaches this line and it find and it finds the value last so that script stops there okay so i'll be giving a last everywhere and then i'll be going for this is the last snippet of code which is used for looping so one after the other the line should be looped right uh, it should go for next line so for that this piece of code is needed now i'll just copy this and paste it in our file after end if okay i'll just copy and paste it here after end if in all the scripts these th th things you have to do just these two snippet of codes you have to add so I'll be adding the path where my Excel is present. Before that, I'll just save as you have to click on save as and you have to browse and you will be saving the file here. OK, under documents. Uh, make uh, it's not like mandatory, but it's better to make sure that both the script file and the file are in the same location. So you will not get confused. OK and saved as type every time you have to use excel 97 2003 workbook because it is more compatible with our script.vbs script file okay so you will be using uh, this you have to save it as this type okay then click on save and just continue so our script file is ready okay and next uh, in the last part what we have to do i'll just copy our path we have to paste the path right so i'll just take the path properties and i'll select the path i'll copy it and i'll paste it in my script file sorry copy paste okay and the uh, file name is script file dot xls okay so now your uh, path we have added and then what you have to do sheet one it's g one one double zero okay g is here it's like the column names uh, till where which column you have to add thousand means it's like it's we are adding just till e thousand means they are the line items okay uh, if it's more than thousand you can give thousand but Hello. usually i'll be giving it as thousand only uh, you can give less also Hello. you can give 10 also if the line items are only 10 you can give only 10 if the line items are more than 10 you can give that number also but i'll just give it doesn't matter uh, i'll be giving more only every time um, then you'll be pasting the loop statement in the last part of our code snippet uh, recording vbs script okay so just after this week uh, move next is going to the next row and then loop it again the whole part of the code will be looped every time whenever until and unless it finds the last one and now you can see this new user b1 is the first one a uh, user id which we created that is in column a so it should 
fetch each and every time the next one right so what we will do is we will just we can't just create new user b2 it will just only create b2 so this is rst excel dot fields zero means it's the column name column first column in excel it's mentioned as in vbs zero is one okay you know so this is the first uh, zero and now the next one is last name you can see there the last is already present there. name last it means that is that was the last name so i'll be selecting giving the same bit line of code and i'll just mention there one because that's the second column zero one two three four so okay it starts with zero and then the first name i'll be selecting the same thing pasting that i'll be giving two here okay that is two and then i'll be giving um, email id so for email id it's the same we have to paste the same line of code there and give it as three okay so this is the password now the password you can see so you can if it's a static then you can give just the static password only i'll be giving this as i'll just copy this and since it is in the fourth column i'll be giving it as four okay in both the lines so if whenever you if you have to give any static password you can give the same password instead of adding that in excel you can give within double quotes you have to give whenever you are giving anything in static here rst excel means it's taking from excel so now these two are the same values because of that i am giving it as uh, same values rst excel 44 they are, they are the same one so as of now the script is ready so this is how you create script just close it and then first user is already created so i'll be deleting that or else you'll get error and it should start from b2 just save it once once you delete the first one and then mm, those the file is ready and you'll be closing i'll just uh, do not i just don't uh, close this i'll just minimize this if if in case needed i'll be using that so close this and now you'll be copying this this is where your script file is base present and now i'll just click on play button okay see uh, you can see the script is running the roles uh, that users are created automatically okay so this is just automation of scripting for creating mass users so in the similar way you can do all other things also like roles and uh, other kind of things also you can create roles also see here the same thing is created whatever you have mentioned in excel so for all the other kinds of scripts also uh, you have to do the same thing just do it for one single while creating the roles also just do it for one single role the authorizations which you will be maintaining will be should be done manually only because they will be different you have to do it on your knowledge but the normal things just creating or adding t codes you can use scripts there okay if you like this video kindly like share and subscribe we'll be back with next video if you have any doubts you can just put in comment sections i'll try to replay for all the comments okay thank you